Where is he, Abby? Afghanistan? How's he supposed to get over here if he's in Afghanistan? That's out supporting troops. Thank you for getting my daddy home. Okay. Page. Says record. It, in. Gonna take her a minute, Rob. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think she missed ya. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, don't worry. I'm here. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I'll be home for Christmas, so. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bee, why did you do that? <laughs> it was so hard to keep it from the two. That's why I put Tucker with me. <laughs> I was like, I need him on a leash. <laughs> I'm also for Christmas party, you should know better than that. Oh my Always. god. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. <laughs> when did you get in? The 19th. I used that. You can shut it off. It might hurt me. Oh, Shucky. Why is there somebody behind the door? <laughs> she saw me first. <laughs> she was like, Just came back from deployment, and what I want to do is surprise the kids and create a memory for them. 
had gone seven months and came back actually Sunday. And I've been hiding him. Yeah, he kept me hiding away. We've been and trying to hide him. <laughs> so coming here today, like I said, just to create the memory and just find some memory. <laughs> I have no idea. Love the story, folks. The plan, weeks in the making. A husband and wife, both deployed for nine months in Kuwait. It's so cute, it tickles. Their final mission, coming home to surprise their kids. WJCL's Ashley Laios was there. Boy, oh boy, emotional homecoming. It was amazing. Emotional to say the least, Kevin and Jennifer. And get this, when they strolled through the front door, the kids didn't even know it was them. You normally see these guys in Orlando, not Savannah. But for one family, Jumping Jacks turned into a magic kingdom. <laughs> After nine months of being deployed, Staff Sergeants Quashana and Joseph Franklin are finally home. Oh, just like a sigh of relief. Like, finally we're home. You know, you get to embrace the kids. It's been nine long months. Yes. Uh, just, just happy to be back. It took weeks of planning. Oh, I was so anxious. <laughs> oh, I was nervous. I was so nervous. My heart was beating so fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was um, extremely nervous. Yeah, I was definitely nervous. Uh, I was more nervous doing this than actually going back to Iraq. They surprised their four kids. Very excited. It blew my mind. Did you have any idea that they were coming home tonight? No. With a pretty original idea. Franklin family, we wanted to do something a little different this time. That's just what we do. Yeah. <laughs> but then another surprise. Yes, we missed uh, every birthday. Yes. Well, then you can make it up with this. Thank you so much, ma'am. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. <laughs> Four hundred dollars so worth of birthday yeah. parties in one shot. I'm ready to hit some bounce house. What's the weight limit again? I did lose hey, a few pounds. Money that will go toward time spent with their kids. All right, big man. Making this moment for this family the happiest place on earth. A homecoming doesn't get any better than this. No better than that. This isn't the first time a big surprise happened at Jumping Jacks. If you remember last year, a family was given a donation of $100,000 by another family at that center, Kevin and Jennifer. M I C K U I M O U S C. -E. <laughs> That's, That's right. so clever and so cool. I know. And to have both, well, you know, one parent leaving, getting deployed is hard enough, but both Imagine parents both, yeah. for nine months. Yeah. Tough time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Incredible. But a great story. homecoming. Yeah. yeah. So cute. It makes me goofy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah.
I was so mad. It was pretty funny. <laughs>